You know, I like going for walks. A lot of people don't know that, you know. Y'all probably think I just play League of Legends all day, but nah. One of my favorite things to do is going for walks. Because staying inside all day kind of gets me all depressed and agitated. So sometimes I walk a few hours to my sister's house or a few hours to my friend's house. And afterwards, I feel like I'm on top of the world. Like, <laughs> you could put me in a ring with that nigga Goku or something. And ooh, I fix him up nice, nigga. I fix him up real nice. But uh, yeah, going for walks, right? A lot of times when I'm on these walks... I'll see all sorts of animals like cats, you know, raccoons, deer. It always makes me real happy, you know, especially seeing the cats because a lot of the times they'll let me pet them and everything, right? But every now and then I run into some dogs. And the dogs, right, I don't really live in the safest neighborhood, so <laughs> a lot of the people that have dogs, they have them for protection. So they'd be big as fuck, right? And they'd be barking real loud and shit. Harf, harf, harf. Sometimes it don't even sound like they're dogs. Bark, bark, bark. <laughs> like, a, <laughs> like a bodybuilder in a dog suit, for real, right? So I just be leaving them alone. Anytime I walk past the house with dogs, you know, I just be walking real fast. Like, nah, I don't want the sauce, bro. I do not want the sauce. Now, sometimes I be walking through, like, the more affluent neighborhoods and shit. I'm talking real affluent. Like, you ain't gonna see no niggas living there, right? In fact, let me tell you how the layout of the city is. It goes, the hood? Hella niggas there, right? Then it transitions into the semi-hood where it's like a lot more diverse. You know, you'll see both black and white people. Usually they'll have mixed children and, and, and that usually puts me in a good mood. You know, seeing mixed children always makes me happy. You know, racial unity and everything, right? Also, a lot of the white people there are either they're super chill with black people and vice versa, you know, because we, you know, we kind of grew up with each other. But after the semi-hood... That comes the snobbiest of Snobville. The people that live there be like, my daddy says all black people do is commit crimes and fuck white women. <laughs> well, we do fuck white women, so I guess he's half right. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Anytime I'm walking through these neighborhoods, you can see the types of dogs they have kind of change, you know, instead of seeing these like, these big built, Built ass and what breeds toward the dogs, you'll see poodles, German Shepherds, Shiba Inus and shit, and they and they're always well groomed, you know, always looking real nice, but there's always this one house I passed by and they had these chihuahuas, like I think it's like four or so chihuahuas. Anytime I pass by them, they'd be barking and shit with their little doggy barks. Like, you know, they're trying their best to scare me and everything, right? And anytime I walk by, I kind of just stop. Not because I'm afraid and petrified with fear and nothing like that, right? Just because <laughs> I find it extremely amusing. <laughs> extremely amusing. The bravery of these little dogs, the sass from these little dogs, they just don't get it. Like, nah, they, they really don't get it. Because honestly... What is stopping me from climbing over this meager ass fence? Not even climbing. I could probably Spartan leap over this shit. And just, just ask my white friends, yo. Anytime me and my boy Holden, we be playing basketball, and the basketball goes out of, you know, out of bounds and goes over the fence they got, I just leap over to grab that shit. So what is stopping me from leaping over this fence and breaking every bone in this Chihuahua's puny ass bodies, bro? <laughs> Y'all got me fucked up, bro. Y'all really barking at me? At me? Barking at my seven foot nine ass? Look at the size of these hands. I probably don't even need a whole hand for none of y'all, bro. Probably just one finger for each. Man, I grab y'all and fling you into orbit. <laughs> into orbit. Because I'm a few days off of weed, you know? I'm trying to quit. And I ain't feeling so good, man. So don't test me, yo. I'm not really in the mood.